Hello, I am Lisa Furland with Lisa Furland Consulting, and I am a crowdfunding consultant. If you are an indie author and you are interested in crowdfunding your book or marketing your book in creative ways, then you are in the right place. So I'm here to share some things that I have learned that maybe you already knew or maybe didn't, but hopefully all of the tips today will help you as you experiment with marketing your book. Okay, so the first thing I learned is that you should be using your Amazon affiliate link. If you're not part of the Amazon affiliate program, sign up. It takes like a minute. You put in your bank information and all that good stuff, and then you get certain links with every product that are linked to your affiliate account. You earn a commission on every product that you sell when people click and go through your link. You can, and this is where I made a big mistake before, you can share the affiliate link to your own products with people. So you can make a commission and you make a royalty when you sell your own books. I didn't know this. This is clearly double dipping and I'm like, for sure this breaks Amazon terms and conditions, but it doesn't. They are totally fine with you double dipping and earning both commission and book royalty. So have at it. I've been missing out on tons of revenue and I'm like, ah, just kicking myself over and over and over again. I've been publishing books since like 2016 and I haven't been doing this. Like what is wrong with me? So don't be like Lisa, use your Amazon affiliate link and earn that extra revenue. Extra bonus is that the Amazon affiliate link will allow you to track the conversion rates in your ads. So when you do a Facebook ad, send them to your Amazon affiliate link, and then you can track and see how many conversions are turning into sales from that link that you share. So it's really helpful um, for you to track your ad performance because Amazon doesn't give you that information on where the traffic is coming from. They just tell you, hey, you sold 10 books today, but you don't know if two are from your Amazon ad and two are from your Facebook ad. So as you start to experiment with more ads, you're gonna need to track the ROI on all these ads and using your Amazon affiliate link is a great way to do that. Okay, another thing I have learned, especially, and this pertains to children's book, but I have adult books, uh, nonfiction, and then I have a children's book. And I sell two times the number of eBooks for my adult books, and I sell zero eBooks in children's book. So people will pay good money for a nonfiction or even a fiction, a novel length ebook. So that is where you might wanna go wide and this is where it changes your marketing strategy. Do you wanna be on Kindle Unlimited and exclusive to Amazon or do you wanna go wide and sell on other platforms? If people are actually buying your ebook, you might wanna consider the wide option uh, because your chances of earning money are higher than earning just Kindle Unlimited royalties on Amazon. Up to you, different discussion. But for children's books, uh, no one buys ebooks. I know because I've been testing it out and uh, people will download your ebook for free. They're happy to do that. They will read your ebook on Kindle Unlimited, but no one's buying it. And I originally had my price set at $4.99 and then I recently reduced the price to the ebook to $1.99 just to see if I could get any clicks, any sales. And what did I get? Nothing, zero, nada, zilch, absolutely no ebook sales for my children's books. It's good to have as a preview for people to click through if they have Kindle Unlimited for them to make an informed decision if they want to buy your book. It also shows that you're offering multiple formats and so you're super professional and it looks good, but don't expect a lot of ebook sales. That's been my experience anyway. I don't know about anybody else. There are some children's book authors who make tons of money on Kindle Unlimited reads. So a lot of people with Kindle Unlimited will read your book and then the more reads you get, you qualify for a Kindle Unlimited reads bonus at the end of the month. So that could be a few thousand dollars, which is really helpful. So don't sleep on Kindle Unlimited when it comes to children's eBooks, but don't expect to sell any eBooks really. Good to know. Okay. Another thing I've learned is that whenever you are setting up any ad, whether it's a Facebook ad or an Amazon ad, you A, need a few things. You need a budget that you're happy just throwing in the trash because this is an experimental budget. And the second thing is you have to be patient. <laughs> I like to tinker and I was like turning into like a day trader and like going up and down, changing my keywords, changing the performance of my AMS ad, my Amazon ad. And it was just like sapping the life out of the Amazon ad. I think I was confusing it and it just wasn't performing well at all. And my um, cost of sale was going up to like 51%, which is really bad. And so I was just losing money. I was hemorrhaging money on Amazon until finally I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna touch it for a few days and see what happens. And then it started performing much better and my ACOS came down. So my, my average cost of sale came down um, and then it was costing me less money to 
advertise on Amazon, which is the whole point. Uh, similar with Facebook ads. So with Facebook ads, I went in with a $10 a day budget and decided to split test two images to see what works. So the text was exactly the same. I just changed the image. Uh, Facebook does a great job in letting you uh, set up this split AB test. And at the end of the test trial, they will select and tell you which one was the winner. Well, the purple image performed so much better, two times better than the red image. And so that's the one I went with. And that's the one that's performing really well for me. Now, another thing I learned is that as long as your ads are performing, your budget should be unlimited. As long as your ads are making you money, keep pouring money into them because they are making you money. The minute they stop earning you money, sure, of course, turn it off. And that is where it is important to be able to track your return on investment, which again is why it's important to use that affiliate link so that you can track what your ROI is from that ad. Unfortunately, Amazon just does not give you that information. So it's up to you to have a trackable link that will allow you to track your return on investment. And so finally, when it comes to marketing, the key here is to always experiment and try new things. If it's working, keep working. And if it's not working, you have to change something. You have to change the content of your book description. Maybe you need to change uh, your ad, your keywords. Maybe you need to change the language in your ad. Whatever it is, you might need to change something. Do the minor tweaks first. I recommend making small dial changes. Uh, to see what works and what doesn't work. So experiment with pricing, experiment with your book description, experiment with all of that before you do the big sort of nuclear bomb changes to your book. Nuclear bomb changes to your book would be changing your title in any way that requires a new ISBN or completely changing your interior files as well. KDP really does not like that when you upload new interior files that differ substantially from what was submitted before. And they can tell that based on uh, page count as well as, you know, they like review the book on the inside. So they can tell if you've made changes and um, that can cause some issues. So just be careful with changing the interior of your book. You can make small minor tweaks here and there, but they may contact you and follow up to find out why you're changing what you're changing and if it requires a substantial change for an ISBN. If you have to change your ISBN, you will lose all your reviews and you basically have to uh, republish your book on Amazon. So that's that's tough and I don't recommend doing that, um, but you can do a new cover without without losing your ISBN or having to change it. Um, so again, make those like small tweaks, do those things, and uh, really focus on marketing your book with different messaging and different calls to action before just completely changing your book entirely. Uh, sometimes a new cover is all you need to get new sales and get fresh eyes on the book. Uh, so that's always an idea, but definitely give it a, the good old college effort before you take that next step. That is all for me. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any comments, of course, please leave them below. And if you are interested in working together, I love helping authors come up with creative strategies to market their books. Bye.